Hello everybody and welcome to this episode where I'm going to be showing you a brief overview of the user interface. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close this shit down and just go back to my drive. Um, uh, I want it to be quite organised with this series uh, and you'll be able to access this section of the drive down in the, the link below. Um, so I'm just going to create a copy of this by right clicking and make a copy. Uh, and then I'm going to right click and rename uh, 003 and user interface. So uh, that's just me trying to be a bit more organized uh, when I open this up. Um, it still thinks it's called copy, so let me just reopen that. There we go, user interface. Sometimes things will take a while to get updated on the server. Uh, so I'm also just going to keep them a bit more organized by creating a new folder. So I can either go up here to new and click on folder, uh, similar to how I added a new sheet, or I can right click in banks place and go to new folder. Uh, so I'm going to call this Google Sheets Tutorials Create. Uh, that will create me a folder. Uh, and then I'm just going to select these and click and drag them into the tutorials. Uh, so now I've got them all in the same place. Uh, so I'll be working in this folder for the rest of the series. Uh, I'm just going to go back into user interface now and open this up. So I just want to do a quick overview really of, of the features and uh, where, where things are in here. Um, gonna, so I'm going to start off in this main section here. So this is our sheet uh, kind of viewer. Um, we've got rows down the left hand side. Uh, we've got columns along the top. Rows are always in numbers and columns are in letters. Uh, we can have more than one sheet. So here we've got sheet one. Um, if I click a plus down here, we'll have sheet three and I can keep adding new sheets. Um, and I can click through them on the different tabs down below. Um, a lot of you will be used to this from other programs that have similar features. Um, I can also then click on these to move them around, change the color of them. So you can also uh, click on this and then delete them, which I'm going to do just to keep things tidy. Um, you're going to need to do it one at a time. So do, 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 do. Um, and so that keeps our sheets tidy. Um, I can also double click them or click on the arrow and rename and I can rename them. So uh, uh, client data. Um, this data, for those that are interested, isn't real data. I'm not deep breaching data protection. Um, this is taken from generatedata.com. Um, it just lets you generate random data. So this is all random. This isn't linked to anyone. Please don't shout at me. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's the area down here. Um, and then up here, we have the formula bar. So this also lets you, if you're selected on a cell, you can click on it and you can edit that the contents of the cell through that. Um, and you can also just do it by double clicking on a cell, you'll go in and you can edit it from there. Um, you'll notice as we select cells, it will put a highlight around the edge of them. Um, so we can also click this highlighted edge if we want to move the cells around. Um, so that makes things very easy if you want to just move the contents of things around. Um, there's also this little square on the bottom right hand side when we select a cell. I'm going to come on to that when we go through formulas because that can be a really helpful little square. Um, we then above the formula bar, uh, we have this bar which just has some of the most used kind of uh, features. Uh, most of these are actually in the, 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 the section above that I'm about to talk through. Uh, so we've got some basic ones like undo, redo, print, paint format, zoom. Uh, we've got the formatting of all our different um, things. Uh, we can change the text. Uh, we can make it bold, italic, strike through, change the color of it, change the font background, change whether or not that it's got a border around the cell. Um, we can merge cells together if we highlight them and uh, merge them like this. We can change the orientation of the cells within the uh, of the text within cells or the, the data within cells. So we can move it to the middle, we can move it to the right. Um, we can change the vertical alignment, so we can put that to the middle. Um, if I expand one of these rows out by selecting it um, and then clicking the section at the bottom, um, 
then it will let me expand the row out and make it bigger. And you can see here it's aligned to the middle. Um, I can also uh, have it at the top uh, and by default it's aligned to the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to undo that and make it tidy again. Uh, this one does text wrapping. So if we shrink this column down so it's too small, uh, the, you can see here, if let me just um, right click on a column and insert one left to add a new column in. Uh, so now you can see that things are slightly cut off. Um, and if I align them to the middle, um, you can see that they overflow. So my current text wrapping, if I look at it, is set to overflow. So it's going to, when it can, it's going to leak over into the cells next to it. If I change this to clip, it's not going to do that. It's going to keep them within that column that, it, that you've done. Um, and if I change it to the middle one, which is wrap, you'll see it extends the row height out automatically so that it fits everything all in the one cell. Um, so I'm going to leave this on the default for now of uh, overflow. Uh, and I'm going to right click on this column and just delete this. Uh, I may as well talk about that menu quickly. So this is what pops up when you right click on a column. You can also get a similar menu when you right click on a row uh, and you can get another one when you right click on the cells. Um, don't worry, this might look a bit intimidating and I'm running through it fairly quickly. Um, this is just to give you an overview. Um, I'm not expecting you to pick all this up straight away. Um, we will be going into all these things in detail and as you watch the rest of the series you will start to understand all of these features in a lot more detail. I just wanted you to make sure that you had some idea of where everything is um, in, within the interface. And then finally we've just got the headings at the top here so we can, we've got file, ed, which has kind of various things we can do with the, the, the entire sheet and make a copy of it, import new information create a new one straight from here. Um, we can edit, so copy, paste, undo, redo, delete. Um, we can go onto view, so we can do things like freeze, pane, zoom, go into full screen. Uh, we can insert, so we can insert columns to the, to the left or the right. Uh, we can insert rows below, etc. Uh, we can insert charts, images and forms links, functions. So you'll notice a lot of this duplicates with the stuff underneath. These ones are just meant to be the key ones that you use most regularly. Format, um, again, a lot of these duplicated, but you can do things like text rotation and um, conditional formatting, uh, which we'll come on to in later episodes. Uh, data lets you manipulate the data in various range. So that's a ways that again, we'll come on to. Uh, tools lets you record macros, do spelling, um, the automatic spell checks create forms, add-ons are quite powerful. And um, if I click on that now, you'll see that uh, there's a lot of third party add-ons that you can add in and, and, and add extra features onto your um, sheet. Um, and then finally help. So this is just a search menu here. So I'd recommend just searching whenever you need help. Uh, this section here will give you an update on what, what's saved. So if it says all changes saved, then you know it's safe to keep on editing things. Um, if there's multiple people using, you might find that you get conflicts, etc. Um, and then this section up here, we've already gone through. So you've got a, a comment section where you can add comments. Um, and you've got the share section where you can share it out with people. Um, and then this up here is just your, your Google account. So this will be on most of your Google things. Um, finally, we've got the explore window down in the bottom right. This just lets you ask questions about your data, so um, it will give you some example ones. Um, so that can be really powerful, and again, we'll come on to that into a future episode. So that's it for this episode. Um, sorry if it's... So that's it for this episode. Um, it's been a bit of a speedy overview, and that was kind of my plan. Um, I wasn't planning on going into anything in any super detail. Uh, we'll be going into most of the features um, and how to use them. Um, so that's it for this episode. Um, don't worry if you found all that a bit overwhelming. Uh, we will be going over all of these features in more detail in the upcoming episodes. Um, and you should start to learn 
exactly how to do each individual part of, of everything I've just gone through. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or join us on our Discord channel where you can ask us any questions you want. So thanks for watching and I hope to catch you in the next episode.